afternoon, welcome to Hexbeam UK HQ. Demonstration of how to install the base plate <coughs> excuse me, onto the centre post. This base plate has got the newer version of the flange I use, which is just to update the video I put on a couple of years ago. Uh, this one's only got one grub screw on, the others are two small ones. Okay, first example is just how to install the plate to the post if installing just directly into a rotator using the stub mask. The second one will be how to install a stub mast um, coming out of a cage, rotator through a cage and then directly into the stub mast of the hex -bee. So, example one. After installing the bottom flange, make sure that the grub screws both facing the same way and facing the front of the antenna which is between 1 and 6 front of the antenna okay the front following the marks on the post the grub screws line up with those marks so stage one fibre collar provided again mark lines up with a grub screw and the, the black end of the spacer facing outwards. Okay. The M8 times 80 supplied bolt through the bottom flange. Holes drilled, pre-drilled for you. Allen key, there is one provided. This is my own. Just want to come a bit closer, please, Laura. Do the grip strip, just finger tight for now, just so you can push the bolt through. Okay, then just come down, push the bolt down a little bit. When you tap it, don't go, don't go crazy. Don't want to ruin the thread. And tighten it, just, just tight enough to hold it there for now. And just tap, tap the bolt through. Placing that on here, just finger tight for now. Make sure I can miss those lot. Just the top flange, we, we now need to do this up as tight as we can. So, bear with me, I'll just get this nice and tight. So, again, as tight as we can. It's very important that they're tight. That's quite tight. It's tight enough for a demonstration. Right, remove the, the nut, drop the bolt down again, just come back here again Laura. We just show that I'm just dropping the bolt down enough to get the Allen key in there. Just so we can just keep tightening it. Okay, just keep, keep tapping it through. It's nice and tight. Tap it through. As long as this Halfway through the, the grub screw, you won't ruin the thread. So make sure that grub screw is nice and tight, as tight as you can get it, and then just place the nut on. I have two 13 mil spanners. Just do that up, okay? That's the first method. So now we need to take it apart. So with the nut just still on there, just give it a tap. Right, uh, so we don't ruin the thread. This next method we don't actually need this so we can just put it to one side for now. now this is one I pre-drilled earlier but if you do it in a sequence then you won't have any problems. Right, first of all take the base plate it's just thought uh, 48.3 mil OD scaffold tube as we call them in the UK. 
can supply him if needed um, for anybody outside the UK um, eBay is quite a good resource so, um, I, I can get him for you if needed this would go through your cage into your rotator some people use a meter and a half a sample now like I said I've already done this one pre-drilled so I'll just insert that Once you insert it, tighten again, tighten the bolt up, uh, the grub scrub as tight as you can, okay? So, you know, for the uh, purposes of this example, that's tight enough. Drill through, 8mm drill bit. Like I say, here's one I've done earlier. Just make sure that the bolt slides in and out nice and tidy. That's good. Tighten that again. Keep tightening it. Make sure it's really tight. Excuse me. I just... For this example, that's tight enough. Right. Reinsert the centre post. What you're looking for, if you're coming a bit closer, right, is that now what you need to do is you need to line up the holes on the stub with the holes that you've just drilled. Should be simple enough. You said just a tap through. It's going to alright. You just need to. Make sure the top is nice and tight as well. So these grub screws need to be as tight as tight as you can get them. Without breaking anything, of course. But uh, it's quite robust. It should be. <laughs> That's plenty tight enough. Okay, again. I won't bother tightening that, but just for the example. So. That's, that's nice and tight now. An extra precaution I always advise to do is if we come down maybe uh, 15 centimetres, anyway, 10 to 15 centimetres, and again with uh, an 8 mil or whatever bolt you've got handy to drill through at this angle as well. This stops any, any, any damage being done in high winds or any backlash on a rotator or the the tower which could cause long-term damage to the antenna and that's pretty much it so any questions free to ask and i hope this video is helpful aiding you assembly hexby thanks very much 73s bye